gonna keep my head down. What's going on, guys? Nick Dio back. If you haven't uh, checked my video from yesterday that I uploaded, it's what I got for Christmas 2018. Go ahead and check that out. A lot of stuff, and I'll show you right now. I got this online organizer too. Pajamas. I don't know if you guys can see it, but these like blue checkered pants. And I got this, and it came from my parents. To the actual video that I'm going to be talking about today. I'm going to be showing you my collection of bowling balls. Now, I did post a video way back in the summertime for us where we live. And it was um, what's in my bowling bag. But I'm just going to show you my bowling balls in the collection. And um, so, yeah, let's get right into it. First one, the Tropical Storm. And I'm sure you have seen this in my other videos under the bowling category. This is a tropical storm, and this was my first ever bowling ball uh, when I got into bowling, and it um, it's just like a beginner ball. So if you're just getting into bowling, uh, good option here, and it just sees if you really like the sport before you actually go out and spend money on a medium to high quality ball. So always start with a lower end ball to see if you like the sport. So. It's the Tropical Storm, and it's the blue one. I got the blue. It's like a, I can't even, it has a, some kind of scent, but it's a, it's Storm, and it's a Tropical Storm. So yeah, that's my first bowling ball, and I will be right back with my next. My next bowling ball, this is the Storm High Road, and I can show it to you here. It's the Storm High Road. Second bowling ball, because I was just getting into the sport. I think it was like my third, I want to say. I think, yeah. I, I, I think I did this backwards. To, but this is the High Road. Mainly for heavy oil conditions. It's for heavy oil conditions. It's a symmetric ball. It works good for me on anything, really. I mean... It dry lanes this ball hooks, but it, it does work on like a heavy oil pattern. Guys, back again. And here we have the T-Zone. And it's a plastic ball. And it's mainly for my 10 pins. Like, this is what I pick up 10 pins with. And some of the right side spares. Maybe, you know, like the 6 pin or something like that. But, I got the blue one. And it's a Brunswick T-Zone. Made by Brunswick. And it's mainly for my 10 pins and it's mainly for spares. A bowler that used to release it weird, so my dad, he was into bowling too. So he helped me work on like lift and getting more rotation and tilt on the bowling ball to make it drive better because my drive was pretty bad. So it, I practice lift with this and I also practice it with my other blue ball that I showed you a couple balls ago. So, yeah, this, this is all I use it for is basically 10 pins and to practice some lift if I'm not feeling lift. Guys, I'm back, and now I believe this was my first reactive resin bowling ball. After the low end ball, just seeing if I like the sport and I want to get into it. This, I believe, is my first reactive resin, and it is an asymmetrical uh, ball, and it's the Assassin Hammer. So, if you guys have this ball, it actually works pretty good for me now. Now that I know more about the sport and where to stand on the lane and how, how many boards to move and working on my spares. I mean, this ball works pretty good for me. It's also meant for heavy oil, but I can also use it on dry lanes because it, it's more like a skid flip because it goes longer down lane and then bam. Um... I mean, that's how I kind of look at some of my asymmetrical balls. It's kind of like a skid flip. Like, it'll hook and then it'll stay straight. So, once it makes the turn, it's headed right for the pocket. So, I, I like the ball. I got a pin up. The pin. Pin up just above that. So, yeah. The ball works good. Recommend it. Um, especially if you just got into bowling. Get like a tropical storm 
or um, if you're really liking the sport and you and your parents or want to buy a reactive resin ball, this is a good thing to start with. So yeah, guys, moving on to my last and final. Wait, no, no, hold up. Wait, no, never mind. I gotta go get another bag for my next bowling ball. But bringing us down to the almost the last ball. I got this Pitbull Bite, and I this is my recently got one. I actually forgot my other one in the dining room, so I'm going to go ahead and have to get that. But this is a heavy oil ball. It doesn't work for me on dry lanes. Um, and my honest opinion about it is it's not a consistent ball, because sometimes if it soaks up more oil, it just kind of gets wore out. Sometimes it hooks a lot where I can't play with it. And sometimes I can play with it because it don't hook at all. And for a person that's putting a lot of finger in it and it don't hook. So. But it's kind of like a skid flip ball too. It's a solid. It's a pit bull bite solid. And it's, a, it's an okay ball for what it is. I mean it can really work. Like um, if you guys know Wayne Webbs in Columbus, Ohio... This is a great ball for that place on heavy oil. Um, but yeah, there's no really... I mean, it just... It's not a real consistent ball, but I, I still kind of like it to some degree. So, yeah. And I'll, and, I'll got, and I'll be right back with my next bowling ball. Matchup, and I believe you guys have seen this in my other video. It is meant for burn up lanes, but at times it can really be aggressive. A uh, place like Wayne Webb that has heavy oil, you can still play it. Um, you might have to play on the outside, like up five, first arrow. But it's an it's an okay ball. I don't really use it that much. My my use my new use, most used balls are probably the High Road and the Assassin Hammer. I just really like them balls because the pit bull bite, it either hooks or it doesn't, and then it really hooks a lot, so it hooks high, so, you know. So instead of me moving left trying to figure out where to play with the pit bull bite, I'd rather just get a symmetric ball, such as the high road, and just play it. And I think the high road, they said, according to my dad and this other guy, that it had most 300 shot on it. And I, be, and I, for some reason, I actually believe that because it it has a consistent roll, you know. Especially if you wipe the oil off the ball every time as you get up to the approach. I mean, it has a consistent reaction. I mean, I'll give them that. It has a you know gradual hook into the pocket, and but it's still a little aggressive. So it's a, it's a good ball. I really, I mean, that's probably. A, my favorite out of all my arsenal, but I do like the pit bull bite on real, real, real heavy oil. But uh, comment down below if you guys bowl and you're really into the sport and what kind of balls you got. And so yeah, I hope you guys all have an amazing day. Peace out.